Hello learners. Uh, in this session, you will learn about the catering management, food and beverages, and also we'll go through uh, the alcohol management, uh, the various aspect about uh, serving the alcohol and how uh, the formats and it being taken. So uh, we'll just go through with that. And I'll just want to give you a small intro about me. I am Manish Agarwal from uh, Pearl Academy, New Delhi School of Contemporary Media. I'm an industry expert. I'm uh, associated with events like India Art Fair, Arson Weeks, Comic Con, and a lot more uh, destination weddings and lots of uh, theatrical projects. So let's start with the session. So in this session, we'll be uh, going through catering management, food and beverages, but yes, alcohol management will be a major part of it. So this is my intro, which uh, I have already uh, spoken with you. So we'll go uh, ahead uh, in the presentation. So this is part three, which is like service planning and alcohol management. So what is an objective uh, for this session? So after listening to this session, you will be able to uh, identify different types of food service and catering management during given. So you will be able to know what kind of different services related to food uh, takes place when they, uh, these kind of events happen and how you manage those things. Then we know the importance of hygiene, sanitation and safety in catering management. Yes, hygiene, sanitation uh, is really important for any kind of event. Rather, be it a small conference or big events or, or uh, any kinds of weddings. So uh, hygiene uh, need to be taken care. And yes, safety in catering management, how safe we are in catering the people, how safe is our venue so that uh, people feel secured and we have a fantastic event. So we'll move ahead. So th these are the functions of catering events, which involve catering operation, food services requirement, menu selection, service planning, and alcohol management. So catering operations, as I want to tell you about like what kind of operations uh, we do in when the catering is being done, how many people, what kind of people are being involved, then food service and requirement, what kind of food is being served, what is the requirement for the, that particular kind of food, which is being served at the venue to the people, to the guests, then the menu selection, it is the vastest part of your any kind of event or uh, rather it be a food festival or a fashion event or an art event or, or anything like that and the service planning how you are planning to service the people uh, what kind of people are servicing at your event and what is your plans then the alcohol management which we go in detail uh, in this lesson so which will tell you about how you manage the alcohol how uh, the, what kind of what are the permits and uh, licenses we need and how it is being served so service planning food service style so service planning or food service style is the manner in which the food is presented to guests at an event and affect their impression to a large extent so we should know what kind of food and how that food is being serviced so that is really, really important because our guests always see the service part of it which is really important and uh, if the service is good it is uh, we give it a lasting impression it is a very uh, good impression always we have to leave to our client to our guest and it has to be on a larger extent then the function of food service planning includes the following activities which are like determine uh, appropriate room setups yes the kind of room setup has to be there it has to be neat good looking room has to be big when you do kind of some kind of setup uh, what kind of place it is so that is uh, important then specify serving styles and timing how uh, what is the style of your serving and when that serving uh, has to happen what are the timing so timing uh, really play a vital uh, role when you uh, do any kind of serving in your food then identify and integrate site implications so we should know what kind of implications or any kind of problem we have on the site we should identify and we should integrate all kind of solutions to it. So integration of the solutions for the site man management and implication of things according to it is really important. Again, then incorporate staffing and equipment considerations. So what kind of staff we need to incorporate the staff or good staff or waiters, the chefs, the people uh, who are serving uh, actually on the table to the guests, 
uh, if it is a self service how people are coming to the counters and taking uh, the food so that the staff has to be there then the equipment what kind of equipments are being used uh, like the chefing dishes uh, like the cutleries like the decor or any other part of it so that uh, need to be considered on a wide basis and then you can see uh, this is a setup of a dining room in which uh, the nicely neat layout has been done so this is a room setup so it's it's like uh, you, you can see it's it's a setup of a house but yes the things are very neat so whenever we do a, a kind of setup for our food and catering so it has to look good as i told you before also the aesthetics play a very important part in this as uh, the creativity always looks goes to the people to the people who are involved and to the people who come as a guest uh, to your event or to your any kind of party then we come to service planning food service style which means the type of food service method chosen by the event manager together with caterer would basically depend on the following factor these are the factors in which the how the food has been served and where it is being served and uh, what are the important factors this is like the uh, after the important discussions between the event manager and the caterer caterer uh, the, the one who serves you the food and who decide what kind of food to be served for an event and event manager plays an important uh, role because they have to do the aesthetics to that particular kind of food so very important again then what are the following factors the type type of establishment means what kind of even it is where it is happening where uh, basically uh, what uh, quantity and quality of the things we have to give uh, in that particular kind of event uh, how the food and uh, when the food is being served so that has been very very important then the menu what is the menu we are giving to our guest so that need to be discussed then cost of meal of food cost of meal uh, is very very important what is the cost that cost comes as per plate or that is a bulk uh, a package cost many times the package cost is being given uh, to the client but many times uh, per package per per plate kind of thing per person kind of thing a package deal has been set so we should know what kind of cost we are catering to the client then time available for the meal so what uh, is the time when the meal is to be served and when it is served so it also means that when you are making that particular kind of meal when the food is being made before an event so that it always uh, be up fresh when we serve it then the type of guest what kind of guest what type of guest which are coming to our site what is the methodology what are the temperament of those people so that to know then the number of guests expected yes this is a very important thing number of guests expected how many people are coming so whenever we create uh, the food menu when we create uh, any kind of uh, event so we should know how many people are coming because our caterer has to make uh, the food accordingly if we have a party of a 500 guests and if we make a food for 1000 guests so what will happen it it's a waste we will be wasting okay 500 guests uh, event is there if so probably 600 also are coming to that event so that kind of thing is handled but what do you do, do with lots of food it's a waste so we need to take care of those things also the food should not be wasted and many times it happens like uh, we count on uh, the guest uh, like uh, like there are 500 guests and so supposedly there are 1000 guests and we make the food only for 500 or 550 guests so what will happen we can't make food uh, on urgent basis because the food is a kind of art so we should know uh, everything about the number kind of guest when it is happening how it is happening so very very important then availability of skilled uh, serving staff our staff who is serving the food has to be very skilled they have to be uh, very fast so it is not only the food making is a skilled uh, art but serving is also a an amazing art because when you are serving to guests how good you are uh, to the guest in serving the food how good you are in carrying your dishes uh, to the people when it is not a self service kind of thing so skill serving staff again is a very important thing then we move to waiter service as we uh, spoken about the skill service so this will come under this this is a formal type of service in which a skilled person waiter presents the menu to the guest so uh, the waiter was very uh, skilled and nicely spoken he just go to the guest present a menu to your guest what he or she wants 
uh, for a particular evening to eat and what they will like. So this is a uh, uh, very important to have a skilled person for that. Then the tables are preset with napkins, cutlery, water, tumblers, salt, and paper fluids, and other accessories. So uh, it's very important to lie down everything on a table, but in a proper way. So it should be preset with these things like cutleries, napkins, then the water tumblers, salt, and paper, and other uh, important things like this, different sauces, different uh, vinegars, and other things like olives and all. So that is also uh, required plus the accessories. This means the kind of cutleries uh, that supports or the kind of flowers that support as a decor or kind of uh, linen uh, which you have uh, done on your tables. So again, uh, uh, this is an important part. Then the dining area gives a formal appearance and provides an atmosphere, dignity, hospitality and leisure. So dining area has to be very dignified. It should look like you are entering into a zone which is like hospitable, the people are very comfortable to talk to and you feel really that you are a place where you feel like you are being treated like a VVIPs or, or a very uh, important guest. So that is a layer kind of thing. You should feel very layered. You should feel very relaxed and nice when you go to any venue for, for uh, a food, for, for an event or to see a show. Then the waiter service has been used in a number of ways depending upon the response and the demands. They are banquet service, restaurant service and room service. So these are different kind of waiter services. So it is as per demand uh, uh, where those waiters are being required at the banquet when the food is being served uh, or to do the housekeeping kind of thing. Then the restaurant services where the one-to-one -one interaction is there with the waiters where they give the menus to the guests and to the clients and then serve the food accordingly and the room service. Room service is when the waiter are serving directly into the room of a client. When uh, the client comes as a guest uh, in destination weddings or when an event is happening, your client or your guest is uh, staying in that particular uh, hotel or a banquet where we are doing an event. So that room service is again an important thing. So the, the waiters uh, are split into these uh, different parts and they do service accordingly. Then you can see a formal setup for waiter service. You can see a nice table uh, layout here with uh, all the important cutleries and some kind of snacks on the table. Then the uh, things which uh, are helpful uh, in uh, serving people. So this kind of layout is very important whenever you are uh, doing a service because if you do a layout, uh, a layout is being laid up. So it's very easy for you to just go there, ask menu for the, to your guest and they just ask you particular kind of food, but your cutlery like spoons, forks, plates, uh, glass tumblers and should already be there on the table, but with a nice decor. As you can see some nice decor, some candle stands, some flowers are there. So they help in the aesthetics of the setup plus the kind of linen, which is you can see on the table, a white cloth in the chair, the kind of colors you know so it has to be very neat and nice so you can see another setup this is for a very indian uh, setup in indian wedding so in, in in indian weddings we have a function called sajan gur which is like uh, the guest like the people from the groom side uh, they get seated by the uh, bride family and they are being served uh, served in a very uh, proper manner and personally uh, the people from the bright side also and plus the, there are many waiters who are serving and you can see the elaborate setting of uh, the service here the cutlery here so that these kind of things are also there uh, and waiter need to take care of uh, how many things they have to serve in particular plate how many times they have to come again and again to see uh, exactly your guest want or not what kind of food uh, they like what is being uh, need to be refilled so these things need to be taken care so that skilled service skilled waiters skilled personnel is really important for this kind of service and you can see another setup uh, a formal setup for waiter service this is again a very nicely uh, laid setup you can see with flower arrangements the nice uh, upholstery nice uh, chair covers nice uh, linen for your table then the cutlery which is silver and uh, glass then you can see a flower setup so this really feels you as i spoken about when uh, in uh, we've spoken before in the presentation about the layered thing whenever you come to these kind of uh, setup you feel very uh, uh, like a well-treated guest or a vip kind of person 
so that feeling of pleasure that feeling of hospitality comes whenever you come to these kind of setups so uh, here is a picture for that you can see then comes cell service so what is cell service one is we uh, went through that waiter service waiter service is when you are being served but cell services in this type of service guests come to the counter uh, bay or table to serve them so guests goes to the counter themselves and take the dishes whatever they want they took, take the place go to the service counter take the dishes and whatever they want they can take on their own this is very commonly used style of food service in suits almost all kind of events so yes this is a service mainly happen in the weddings and it's a whole tradition happening in our country and many countries also uh, where the self service is there so this is a very commonly kind of food services uh, which is prevailing and then there are many types of self service styles each adapted to the needs of the host and for different occasions mainly this has been grouped into buffet service and cafeteria service so there are many types of self service styles which is a buffet service which we have discussed buffet is the buffet is being laid down and the plates are being kept aside you just collect your plates your cutleries your napkins you go to the uh, counter uh, where the food has been displayed so just go there and have your food plus the cafeteria service is also serve, service whenever you go to any kind of a cafeteria so just order then you have to go and pick your food from there or pick your cafe uh, coffee from there or a tea from there so this is what a cafeteria service you mean so these are the basic differences of different services as been uh, to be understand in food management and the catering services then you can see some example this is a self service so shipping dishes are there and people are coming there directly to the counter and taking the uh, service themselves and picking the food themselves so this is it then you can see another setup again a nicely laid table chairs had been done with flowers with cutlery and everything and you can see the dishes where the food is being served and a nice setup with canopies and uh, the backdrops and also this is again a very important beside food the aesthetics yes always play an important role so we need to take care of that also so here you can see uh, the image you contemplate the entire setting then we come to vending what is this this type of food service is relevant for all major and mega events where menu items like cold drinks coffee uh, tea chips and other packaged food are served to a large number of human entities like in exhibition so vending is what vending is whenever you go to some kind of exhibition some some kind of shows where like it's a ticketed thing so there are people who are the vendors they have a different as you see there are different vending machines uh, being placed at the venue like the coffee machine like the people uh, who, who are uh, selling snacks and all and other things so they are the vendors who are, what are those they are the seller they are selling thing okay who bought food at the desired place like at home at the place of event etc which means there are different vendors you order food they come to you then uh, you buy them so this is what this vending thing is so uh, you see lots of coffee machine tea machines at the many uh, events or uh, many many exhibitions you just go there to give them money they can give you a cup of tea or coffee at a particular amount and with that also they have a packaged food they have snack they have chips and other other items which is incorporated with that so it is for the large event attendees where like you don't have to if you do buffet and all for like two three thousand of people in these kind of events it will be totally a mess so these things many times doesn't work so we have to uh, you have to do these kind of uh, services like vending service so hope you have understood like what vending services it is basically the seller thing how the seller is selling the things at a particular venue and getting connected with the people who wants it in a different form okay then food service styles used in preparation food service method styles have also been classified as per the different foods many are being presented to the guest they are table service methods where meals are served to seated guests which means table service method how you are serving at the table so that method that manner like a proper manner should be there to serve the food there the counter service method where meals are collected by the guests so table service method where the meal are served directly to the guest on the table and the counter service is where the people come uh, to the particular counter and they collect their food and they just go back to their seats and have their meal 
then personal service matter in which our meals are delivered so meals personal services meals are delivered to your doorsteps so this is what the personal service so this is a major difference in uh, different uh, style of food servicing like table service counter service and personal service hope you have understood this so uh, there are major difference actually so i think this is very important for you uh, to understand then we come to alcohol management so it is a very vital part of any kind of event any kind of wedding any kind of seminars alcohol management and even involves following activities identify and comply with alcohol policies and law we should know what kind of laws has been uh, there to serve the liquor serve the alcohol and what are the policies to serve them when it is to be served how it is to be served whether the particular kind of brand is legal to be served or not to be so then determine liabilities insurance when we should know the insurance requirement of our event of the things which is really important what are the liabilities of doing these things what kind of alcohol what kind of alcohol management we should have or not for a given so that liabilities we should know then incorporate responsible consumption program yes very important so responsible consumption program need to be known to all the guests known to the client so that uh, there are no mess up for your event the consume the consumption of the alcohols it has to be very in an ethical way again so th these things need to be understood in alcohol management <coughs> activities then there are other things like alcohol at any event can be served only when certain points are considered like a selection of caterer who is licensed to serve yes again an important part without license we can't serve alcohol at any venue if we serve alcohol at any venue without license it will be confiscated and it will be taken back and the venue gets sealed and you are not able to serve to, to your client so getting that license is very very important which you get when you buy a liquor you get a license to serve at your particular place so we should be as i told you the ethics and uh, uh, truth should be there for any kind of even we should not do uh, things which give uh, bad elements to our event then the place of event whether alcohol can be served or not yes again there are many places uh, many venues where alcohol is not allowed so if you serve alcohol there so there could be a bad small thing you should do you you will uh, lose your goodwill and the event will go in a bend so that is that should not happen with you so uh, we should know whether the alcohol the particular kind of alcohol particular brand or even the alcohol is to be served at the venue or not so we should take care of those things and like many many times now the many weddings happen when people don't uh, serve alcohol there and suddenly uh, you take your uh, thing there and start drinking there and also it will give a bad uh, uh, taste to the venue bad, bad taste to the people they have these the, these kind of things are happening here so we need to take care of that then the kind of drinks to be served whether hard or soft we should know what kind of drink we are serving could be a soft drinks or a alcohol or a liquor based drinks then the size of serving how many and what kind of serving we should be there size means how many people we are serving we should know are we serving to 100 people are we serving to 1000 people so accordingly we have to buy the alcohol from the vendor okay from the liquor shop so so that we procure the license accordingly to serve these many kind of people and many times uh, the alcohol is uh, a sponsored thing also for many events so but still the license is important then we should have a trained bartenders trained by trainers are really important for any kind of event because uh, uh, they should work accordingly as per the client's brief and also they should be very fast in serving many times what happen when the bartenders are not trained so we have a people standing at the bar and shouting give my drink give my drink which is like then they fight so any kind of event it happens and so trained bartenders are very important they should be very creative also in making uh, different cocktails and mocktails so this is a very important aspect then the security aspect many times at the bar people come they drunk and they get drunk like that and they do many bad things at the venue show uh, we should have proper security arrangement uh, to keep people calm at the venue we should know how many uh, things how many alcohol is being served at the venue so people should uh, be in a mannered way so that mannerism is very important aspect beside the 
other things. So we need to take care of the security, uh, how the bar is being secured, how our, uh, the different items are being secured, and we need to make our venue very neat and clean when we do all these kind of things. Also, uh, we should have some uh, good uh, people of security uh, at the bar so that they, they take care of the people and the hooliganism, which can happen anywhere in any event. So that need to be taken care. So uh, this is a very important part of alcohol management. So you can see a uh, picture uh, called being, uh, wine has been served in the glasses. Then an important factor of the management is hygiene, sanitation and safety. In catering, hygiene and sanitation play a vital role in promoting and protecting the health and well-being of people in large numbers. Thus, all food service and catering operations must comply meticulously with all health and food safety measures. So hygiene, yes, not only nowadays, from past also and in future, how hygiene plays an important role part of your event hygiene and sanitation so catering catering has to be very neat if it is not hygiene and it's not sanitized people might uh, get uh, bad health they might turn into a it might turn into a like uh, bad bad food or people get ill by eating that particular kind of food if it is not hygienically prepared and the venue is not sanitized so that will be very uh, a problem kind of thing then hygiene and sanitation catering management means environmental hygiene hygiene food handling and personal hygiene as i told you uh, the hygiene management again a very important part hygienic food how you handle that particular uh, kind of food and also the personal hygiene the people are coming there or when your people are serving food to the people so that personal hygiene is very very important and what environment hygiene means the kind of venue you have so the venue where you are having your event, it has to be very hygienically done. So that is what an environmental hygiene, because what kind of environment we are giving to the people, to our guests who are coming to the venue. Then in addition to the safety measures in catering, operations are equally important. So safety measures are important for us. We should take care of all kinds of safeties. When the food is coming to the venue, it should be looked properly by the people, by the people who are professional. Whether your vegetables or any kind of supplements or any kind of uh, your uh, herbs and all which are used in a food are coming in a proper way, in a proper place. And they are not like uh, expired, they are not fr uh, from a, uh, bad places or, or the people who are just uh, want to make the money and just send things. Many times it happens. So uh, people just want to make money. They, they send the items which are expired, which are like not good. So, so they sell that thing in a very cheap prices to the people. And many times those people to make money again, the caterers and all, they make things from that. Then what happened? Food poisoning to the people. And it has happened. So we need to take care of those things. So again, I'll say ethics and uh, safety measures need to be taken care of. so those things are equally equally important then to safeguard food contamination through food handlers following precautions must be taken but those new food handlers should have any kind of disease or infection from where we are taking food we should know how that food is coming and who is de delivering the food so we should know they are not infected with any kind of disease or any infections if they are infected for something like that then the guest coming to our place might eat uh, will eat that kind of food and they also could be infected then hands should be clean at all time with short nails and no nail pen so see a beautiful thing uh, it's been told here so hand uh, because the food is made by hand hand is a major component for making food so the pe the person who's making also and who's delivering food and who is also serving people they should be very clean their nails should be cut and no nail pain when if if the female uh, counterpart is there uh, if she is into uh, making a food making salads or dressing uh, or beautifying the food so they have to be very neat with all these kind of things to be taken care the illness must be immediately reported if somebody is is ill in your uh, organization who are into catering so that illness should be immediately reported because if somebody is ill he or she might infect many many people so to get rid of these things yes please 
uh, one should uh, uh, report about it and get him or herself checked for that particular kind of illness. Then uh, it is to be reported that learning and sitting in the working table is objectionable. So we should not lean and sitting if uh, is objectionable, which is really bad for our uh, people who are uh, distributing food or the waiters or the people who are into service. So we need to take care of that because client won't do, don't feel good about these things. Then all staff reporting duty must be fresh, well groomed and clean. They should look good and beautiful. As I told you that aesthetics always play an important part of your catering management. Then food must be handled correctly as and as little as, as possible. It has to be handled correctly. It should go to the guest table uh, on, on a faster basis. It should reach to, to, to your guest immediately. So that is very uh, important how the food is, is being handled. So need to take care, then there should be no smoking, spitting, chewing, eating, sneezing or coughing over the unprotected food. If the food is open, so take care, you don't sneeze on it, you don't spit on it or, and the people who are smoking, just ask them to go out of the venue or go out of the kitchen and smoke or don't smoke uh, when the food is in under the process because if you do all these kind of things, something happens, so it gives a, uh, a bad feeling to the person. And as I told you, food poisoning is a major part and any kind of uh, uh, one can get uh, infected with any kind of disease due to other person's problems. So it's a very important part, hygiene and sanitation and um, getting safety accordingly uh, is a very, very important factor and we should take care of all these things. So guys, uh, thank you very much. Hope uh, the session uh, you have learned about the catering management, about the alcohol management, and how uh, the food is being served in a hygienic and sanitized manner. So please take out your notebooks and as per the session we have discussed, do some brainstorming about uh, how the food is being served, uh, what are the different services as we discussed, and uh, how we work as, uh, for an alcohol management. Thank you.